The Gazer camera features fast zoom capabilities and a one-button reset function. N stands for night and D stands for day. It's recommended to use a filter on the camera during daytime shooting and remove it for nighttime shooting. The Gazer camera boasts excellent night vision performance. During installation, solder the red wire to TX6, the black wire to GND, the grey wire to TX1 and the white wire to TX7. Connect the camera's wires to the three corresponding ports. Solder the yellow wire to the cam ports, the black wire to GND, and the red wire to the bat pad. Once the wiring is soldered, connect the cables to their respective ports. When mounting the lens, ensure the coaxial cable faces downward. Connect to a computer and open Betaflight. In the menu bar, select the CLI option, then type the command resource in the text box and press enter to view the pin assignments. Release the occupancy of the corresponding port based on the flight control pin definition. 1. Resource deallocation steps. In the text box, type resource motor 7 none and press enter, then type resource a serial TX 1 none and press enter. Then type resource serial TX6 none and press enter to deallocate the resources. 2. Configuration steps. In the text box, type resource servo 1B00 and press enter. Then type resource pinio 1B06 and press enter. Followed by resource pinio 2C06 and press enter to configure. Once done, type save in the text box and press enter to save the settings. Remote controller channel setup. In beta flight, go to the menu bar, select the modes option, locate user 1 and click to adjust. If channel 1 is set to a two position switch, select the EOS 1 channel. In Betaflight, go to the menu bar, select the configuration option and in the other features section, enable the servo underscore tilt checkbox. Finally, in Betaflight, go to the menu bar, select the servos option. If your remote's A7 is a knob switch, enable the A7 channel under servo 1 and you're all set. Thank you.